Miami Heat Nation fans stand up because that was a great season. It was very unfortunate that we didn't make it to the NBA Finals, but I'm proud of this team and I'm proud of this roster. Now, my name is Trent, and this offseason, I will be covering the Miami Heat and during the regular season. You know, we're going to be talking about trades, rumors, nudes, and more. So if y'all support the Miami Heat, make sure you drop that sub. I appreciate that a lot. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what's next for the Miami Heat and pretty much the offseason, who's going to be a free agent, who's on contract, and what players should we team up with Jimmy Buckets to take us to the finals? Because honestly, guys, we're super, super close. We just need that one star. Now, going back to the regular season, the Miami Heat were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. They were 53 and 29. And obviously, we understand we made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. A lot of people doubted us. A lot of people didn't even like, pretty much respect the Miami Heat because of the drama earlier in the year. But we're a tough team. Our culture is perfect. Great head coach in Eric Sprostro. And we proved everybody wrong, who's literally a couple of points away from making it to the NBA Finals again. Last time we was there was during the bubble. And I do want to say this, that Jimmy only is good in the bubble, obviously is fake because Jimmy Buckets has showed up in these playoffs. And personally, to me, he is a superstar. And from now on, he is not called Jimmy Butler. He is called Jimmy Buckets because what he did for this Miami Heat team, put it on his back, no breaks, was absolutely huge. Now, going back to pretty much the offseason guy. So on contract, we're pretty much bringing back the same team, which is cool. But we're definitely going to need to bring in some other players, some superstars. And as a Miami Heat fan and as a Miami, we understand like the destination and what we represent and the culture and Pat Riley and Eric Sproso superstars are attracted to Miami. So that's pretty simple to that. Now, Jimmy Butler's on contract to 2026 and Bam Adebayo's on contract to 2026. We understand that. Those are our two players that we're going to be relying on for the next couple years for this next title run. Now, Kyle Lowry is a big question mark. He is on contract in 2024. And during the offseason last year, this was a huge signing because we expected Kyle Lowry to play like how he was in Toronto. Yes, during the regular season, he played pretty good, pretty, pretty solid. But in the postseason where we've seen a lot of stuff that was very concerning and wasn't playing his best basketball, he has guaranteed like $85 million. And maybe the hamstring injury definitely, you know, affected his play. But he said it himself. If you're out there, you have to play some good basketball. And he just didn't I understand. He brings a lot of stuff to this team like leadership. You know, he won a championship with Toronto. A lot of people look up to him, you know, a lot of stuff he does. But on the offense end, just it just wasn't there. And Jimmy Buckets needed help. So we'll talk about that in another video. But that's Kyle Lowry. Duncan Robinson is another player that we have to talk about, too, is because he fell out the rotation and they signed him to a five year, like $80 million contract. And he didn't make the rotation in the playoffs because we understand what the Miami Heat culture is. It is grit and play great defense. If you're not great on the defense end, you're not going to play. And it showed, obviously, this postseason. I don't care if we pay, play you. If you're not going to play defense, you got to go. And one thing that I was noticing during the playoffs, whenever Duncan Robinson was playing, the Miami Heat went into a zone because they know he is a weakness. Now, obviously, he's on contract 2026. Do they keep him? Do they trade him? We'll, got, we'll talk about that, too. P.J. Tucker, love his attitude. Love what he brings to the team. On contract to 2023, gave Vincent and Max Schroes on contract 2023. And later on videos, I'll talk about if we should play them or we should just let them go. That's that. Those are players on contract. Now, free agent, we got Caleb Martin, Victor Lodipo, Dwayne Dedman, Markeith Morris, and Udonis, Udonis Haslam. Now, Udonis Haslam, I love him, but I think you should just put him as a coaching staff. Don't put him as a player because that is taking a roster spot, and Miami Heat would love to keep that. So just put him on the coaching staff with, you know, Eric Sproso and all the assistant coaches, and I feel like that will be fairly, fairly well. Now, a couple free, agent, free agents that I would bring back or look, you know, looking to add back. I like Caleb Martin. I like what he brought. He played valuable minutes in game six, game five, and stuff like that. Definitely was good during the regular season. Personally, in my opinion, I'll bring it back on another one-year deal to play that bench role and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section how do you feel about that. Victor Oladipo is a big question mark because obviously he's coming back from ferocious, ferocious injuries and stuff like that. And on the offense end, there were some splurges where he played really, really good. But what kind of stood out for me with Victor Oladipo was on the defense end. And 
he was locking down Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum for a lot of game, a lot of these games that we were in. And that's why he was playing a lot, because like I said, that's what we like. And so it's going to be interesting to see if a team will play him a lot of money or, you know, give him more money. But if not, I think we should bring back Victor Oladipo back on another one year deal. And let's see what he can do with another offseason and another year of playing with Miami. Dwayne Dedman, you know, keep him. Whatever, great backup big. He didn't. He stopped playing in the rotation because we kind of went like with a couple more guards for more scoring. But if you do want to bring him back on a cheap one-year minimum vet, I'm with it. You get it? Markeith Morris, I wouldn't bring him back. And then obviously Udonis has him. So those are the people that are on contract. And then obviously those are the free agents. Now going to who should we team up with Jimmy Buckets? Honestly, guys, I'm looking at a couple of players. Donovan Mitchell and Bradley Bill. Zach Levine will have to be a tr uh, signing trade. Doesn't really seem likely. But Bradley Bill is on a team with the Washington Wizards who aren't the greatest. And I definitely think it's time for him to leave. It makes perfect sense. He has been linked to the Miami Heat for the last couple years. I think we have the players. Personally, in my opinion, I would give up a Tyler Haro for a Donovan Mitchell. Not a Bradley Bill, but for a... You know, like I said, Donovan Mitchell. I would trade Tyler Haro and some pieces for a Donovan Mitchell. Bradley Bill, I wouldn't trade a Tyler Haro for Bradley Bill. But you guys let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Like I said, a short little off-season preview. I'm going to continue to go more in-depth in more videos I make. But I just want to introduce myself, who's on contract, and pretty much the off-season guide and off-season plan for Miami heading into the off-season for agency and draft. But I love you guys so much, and I'm out. Peace.